There's been quite a bit of discussion on the page recently about uh, syncing multiple cameras and audio recording devices with timecode. So I'm going to see if I can do a little demonstration of how I do it using two Z9s, uh, a Mix Pre 3, two Tentacle Sync E devices, and an iPhone. Uh, you can use an Android if that's your preference. Um, so this is the kit. Two Z9s, you know all about them. Two Tentacle Sync devices, that's really key to getting the timecode sync working. Um, a Mix Pre 3, which has its own internal timecode generator that can be jam synced to the uh, timecode coming out of the tentacles. So that means one less piece of gear in the kit and uh, uh, one very solid audio recorder. And then what you're seeing here is timecode that's being generated by the tentacles and reflected via Bluetooth uh, on an iPhone. This little app can be used to sync cameras that don't have a timecode generator on them, but you just get a visual reference, make syncing uh, uh, pretty quick and reliable. More on that later. So we'll put that away. This is the Tentacle Sync E. It's a great little device, has a rock solid timecode clock, and what it does is produce timecode as an audio signal that you record on one of the audio channels of your uh, Z9. You'll see that I have little Velcro pads that I've uh, covered up the Nikon logo with on the Z9. Sorry, Nikon. That gives me a place to secure the tentacle without using up the, the uh, hot shoe that I might want for something else and keeps it out of the way of, of most of the other things that I would uh, that I would do with the camera. There are devices that can mount it in a hot shoe. There are devices that can uh, screw into a cage if you if you want to do it that way. This plugs into the audio input of your Z9. It sets the levels automatically. If you set the levels on the camera to uh, be automatic, everything will work just fine. So that's how you mount the tentacle. But how does it work? All right. So first thing, you turn the tentacle on. Hold this little slider down for three seconds and it will go green and it's on and it's generating time code. But what sync them? So what syncs them is the iPhone app or Android app, your choice. So this is the Tentacle app. You can see that each of the two devices that I have here are showing up on it. One I've called blue and one I've called red. Um, and the app is telling us that they're not in sync. So if I press this button down here, this is time code that's being referenced uh, from, the, from the clock inside the uh, iPhone. So it's a time of day time code. And it's asking me the frame rate. Uh, that's a critical thing. You, you have a choice of frame rates, 23.98, 24, 25, 2997. Um, in my case, I want 2997. I hit start and it syncs the blue, it syncs the red. And now it's verifying sync and everything here is green. You see time code green, time code green, uh, frame rate green, um, and it's mic level going out to the camera. Uh, and it's really as simple as that. If you look at the back of the camera, you see that the, the time code audio is a steady stream on uh, the left channel and ambient sound is coming through the tentacle, the tentacle mic uh, on the right channel. So you do have ref a reference track, a guide track. Um, it's not a bad mic. Um, I don't love the microphones on cameras. I don't like microphones positioned on cameras very much. So I'm not terribly concerned about that, but it's useful to have as a reference. So now I've got two tentacles synced, but before I put the other one on the other camera, I need to sync the audio device. So. Let's turn the Mix Pre 3 on. Mix Pre 3 has an auxiliary in. Going to time code, hit the jam button. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's reading the same time code as the uh, tentacles are. All right, now we can unplug the, the tentacle from the Mix Pre 3. Its time code generator will keep it in sync for the rest of the shoot. Turning the second camera on, and as with the other Z9, you see that the audio is, is showing a steady stream on the left channel from the tentacle, and uh, ambient audio recording through the tentacle's microphone onto the right channel. And that is really all there is to it. It's, it's very simple. Now, I mentioned I was going to, um, 
to talk a little bit about this guy. Uh, this thing is very handy if you've got more cameras than you have tentacles. It lets you record a visual timecode reference that's in sync with your timecode system. Uh, so you can pretty easily sync a third camera or fourth camera if you only have two tentacles. Now, a couple of general notes about timecode um, recording. Syncing timecode in post is incredibly quick and surprisingly simple. And it gives you the ability to have great quality audio linked to the video that you're working with um, and carry it through the project like that. There is one thing that I will warn you about. Um, the automated systems for syncing audio and video don't like it if you have more than one audio clip per video clip. They have no problem if you have more than one video clip per audio clip. But in an edit system, video is primary. So if you have a long piece of audio, the system will find the piece of that audio that syncs with the time code on the video. You can have five different video clips synced to the same audio piece, and that's not a problem. On the other hand, the system will only find one audio clip per video clip automatically. So you don't want to turn the recorder, the audio recorder, on and off during your recording. You either want to run it once for every video clip you shoot, or just keep it running and shoot video and let the um, let the, uh, the audio recorder free run. Uh, 